Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. YouTube reminded me it's the channel birthday today, 14 years of S0. May the 4th be with you. Today, we're looking at the size of the sunspot. We'll see the latest on solar storm ozone destruction and solar forcing of cardiac condition. And we're starting with the last 24 hours on our star. Folks, every space weather scientist bet on the big sunspot group doing more than it has. We've had no flaring or eruptive activity, and as the solar wind from the coronal hole dies down here at Earth, all is quiet. The big sunspot has remained magnetically split and incapable of flaring despite being the biggest sunspot of 2025. Its umbral cores could engulf the entire Earth. These are big boys. But like a warrior in a garden, they are dialed in on a peaceful existence at the moment. So let's go to the ozone destruction. We know this is where the ozone balance tips when the sun gets too active. Here, they compare similar proton events in 2005 and 2012, with a 2005 event being a bit bigger. Now, while both caused ozone destruction, and initially the larger 2005 storm caused more ozone destruction, the second half of the storm hit harder during the weaker event, and the weaker event took longer to recover from in 2012. Why would those be the case? Well, because Earth's magnetic pole shift had that major acceleration in 2006, leaving us more vulnerable in 2012, taking longer to recover. Extrapolate to the zenith of the geomagnetic excursion and pole shift coming in the next 25 years, when ozone destruction will be severe. Folks, yesterday we released the special observer review issue on solar storms and cardiac health. Members, remember you can go to the members page and find every past article, including this one. And today the science world has decided to add another one solar forcing of blood pressure. It's only when the geomagnetic storms occur, when the solar eruption actually whacks our planet. And as we've seen several times before, existing cardiac risk patients and women have higher reactivity and risk to solar storm heart and vascular influence. While doing so, they debunked the connections to temperature and pollution, which really needed to happen given how strongly those are being pushed by the mainstream. This is another vulnerability that amplifies in the pole shift every day. Our hearts and our star become a bit more connected. Folks, today we wrap up the first Kings of Catastrophe event at Observer Ranch, and there's lots of pole shift conferences and prepping days on deck this season. Highly recommend you come out and see us. The family reunion feel was noted again yesterday and last weekend by several attendees, not by blood, but by bond of heart and mind. And October is shaping up crazy, by the way. After the prepping day to kick off the month, the Colorado Prepper Expo is October 10th through the 12th. And then, folks, we'll discuss this one a bit more in the day ahead. It's the esoteric side of things with me drawing the line between benefit and woo-woo. There will be only 20 spots open for the experience due to the one-on-ones needed with me and the workers of the light. By the way, I've been doing this a while. I do know what to look for in a guide. ObserverRanch.com. Pick a time to come see us and book your reservation. And don't forget, Observer Review subscription link below. And if you are a cardiac patient, you can't ignore this latest stuff, and your doctor shouldn't either. We do give sharing permission for that issue, by the way, to your cardiologist if you have one. Greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.